so boom what is up guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to be changing the stock toyota crown athlete v side mount intercooler for aftermarket phoenix front mount intercooler well try to all right so here it is the phoenix front mount intercooler for the toyota crown athlete v so you guys know the stock crown intercooler is a side mount intercooler which sits right in front of the tires right here so Today, hopefully, we can try and install this front mount, which will obviously get the front right here, replacing the side stock ones. But for now, let's unbox it and see what it comes with. Here it is, first time opening it up, and as you guys can tell, I went for the stealthy sleeper black look. So this Phoenix intercooler does come in two versions. You can get the black version or the polished aluminium look. The polished look would look pretty sick, like you know, when I pull up, you can see like, oh fuck, this guy's got a front mount intercooler. But right now we're trying to stay low key and we're trying to stay as a sleeper. So that is why I went for the low key stealthy black look. But check that out, it actually looks minty fresh. And this is also a kit, so it came with all the piping as well. Sheesh, that's actually 100 times way better. It is actually quality product, just check it out. Damn, I'm so glad I went with the stealth black look as well. It's actually so clean. It's one All right guys, so fast forward a few weeks and today we're actually gonna try to install the front mount intercooler. So as you guys saw last time, we unboxed it and we test fit it, but I realized, you know, it kind of needed more effort than I thought. So today, yeah, let's actually put in that effort and try and install it. All right, so what I realized last time when trying to install this front mount intercooler as well, is that it doesn't fit with the actual crash bar right here. So I did a bit of research on the forums, on the Facebook pages, and there's two methods you can actually do. Either one is to remove the crash bar, ditch it, or modify it. So basically what you do is you cut a slit right here, you modify it so then the front mount can actually fit in. Or the second option is to, I think, bend the AC line, which I'm pretty sure is this right here. You bend it carefully so then it has enough more room and it can still use a crash bar. So I think I'm going to go with option B because at the end of the day, I'd rather not have AC but have the crash bar. So yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully, we can slightly bend this and we don't break it. But yeah, like I said, I really want to keep the crash bar in place. So yeah, let's um, try and install it. Alright guys, so fast forward a few hours, everything from the stock intercooler is now all out. As you guys can see, the engine bay is all empty, no more intercooler pipes. And now we can start plugging in the pipes for the Phoenix front mount intercooler. Also, this is going to be another hard part right here because this kit didn't come with instructions and the pipe is all different lengths, all different bends as well. So I'm not too sure what goes where. I'm going to try and see if I can find an image on Google or something. But yeah, so like I said, look, you've got some short pipe. You got some long pipes, but there is no instructions as well. So I guess, yeah, I'm gonna try and figure it out. But yeah, I think I know that there's only two pipes coming from there to there, or is it three?
All right, guys, so everything with the Phoenix front mount intercooler is now all installed on the Toyota Crown, and we can now put the bumper back on and go for the first drive. But before we do that, I think I'm gonna quickly run through you guys with what I did and how I installed the Phoenix front mount intercooler. We actually fit the crash bar on as well, so that is a plus side. So we'll start from the top. This is how it all went. We have the pipes running from there down here into the OEM holes, and then it comes down here on the wheel arch into the front mount. And then on this side, the front mount as well, it comes in here, it hooks under there, and then it comes back up here and into that pipe as well. And it wasn't as simple as that. We did have to do some modifications, which I'll show you guys what we did. So if you come up close right here, we actually had to cut this piece right here. So this was basically flat like this. We actually had to cut it so then the pipe fits better because A, this allows the intercooler to be pushed back a bit further so then you can have the crash bar on and it means less cutting of the bumper as well because it doesn't stick out as much. If you come to the front right here, we also had to modify or make our own brackets at the back for, for the radiator support and the hood latch as well. This is the OEM one but if you can see this little notch right here, this was kind of in the way so the intercooler couldn't sit as further back. So I thought we'll make our own bracket without this little notch right here, like that. So it doesn't stick out and then the intercooler can sit further in so it can retain the crash bar. And then the aircon line right here, not too sure if I did this right, but I bent this top unit carefully at the top. The bottom one, I couldn't really do much. It is actually touching the intercooler right now, but it still works, so hopefully it doesn't wreck it. It's driving pretty smooth right now. Hopefully the pipes don't fall off. We'll get around this bend and then we'll give it a bit. Oh we So what I mean by the dose sounds different is it's still pretty loud, but it's kind of fatter and slower now. So back then you used to have, you know, like that so do 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 but now it's got that so so do do so it's not as long but it's kind of dragged out and kind of fatter as well. I'll hit it here for you guys. The car goes alright as well and I'm not too sure if this front mount intercooler made the car more responsive. It feels responsive in my opinion. Or is it just the weather because it's pretty cool today? But like when I step on it, there's less lag in my opinion. I don't know, unless who knows? Could be the weather, but hey, maybe it's the front mount because like I said, straight bolt on, we haven't tuned it, so I don't know how much it will actually do. Alright, so I don't know what's going on anymore. Like at the start how I said the flutter was much slower. Well now it's back to normal, so I don't know, maybe the pumps popped off, but yeah, right now it sounds back to that high pitch fast sort of I don't know, maybe maybe I can control it with the throttle or something. Maybe at the start I was driving differently, but yeah, who knows. Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the new front mount install. If you did, make sure to give this video a fat like PHAT. Comment down below what you guys think and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters! Uh, I think we might have to readjust the pipes. Look at that. Wait, what? That's like two mil of clearance.